guys um i don't quite know what this video is going to be but right now it's september 12th it's a monday and over the weekend i received <laughs> and i received notice that that i failed my med calc exam so in nursing school you have these medication calculation exams or some schools call them like dosage calculation exams where basically you get like math problems and you have to complete them plus in my next class i had to get 20 out of 20. <laughs> one is on the first day of class <sighs> and i failed it by one so i got 19 out of 20. so so with that being said, I don't know what my future is. Um, you, if you basically fail the med calc exam, you fail the class and you might have to repeat the class. Uh. Basically, um, my professor explained like what the next steps was and that I could appeal the grade if I wanted to. And I guess by the grace of God, the assistant dean would give me the opportunity to take it for the fourth time. Now. It's very, it's highly unlikely, but I like to stay positive. I am filming this because I want to document that, you know, you fail and everything's not perfect. I, this is the only exam in my nursing program that you can fail and then like fail out of the class and like have to repeat the class. Um, if you fail any of like your regular nursing, nursing exams, you can still pass the class if you just get an overall 75%, I think, in the class. So, exams aren't really like the end all be all, but this one is. And it's unfortunate because I had to take it at home, CJ was there, and just all my circumstances were not aligned for me to pass it. But it was my fault because it's the third time, why haven't I passed it? Never had to do this. Um, and yeah, so I appealed that today and now I'm just stuck. Obviously I cried. Obviously I'm like, I'm never going to be a nurse. I don't know why this is happening, etc., etc. But I'm like, you know what? My story's not done. And I prayed and I'm still praying because I don't have an answer yet. I just want to document this. I want this to be kind of over a span of time. And because I don't know the future, I just want to pop in whenever something happens and record my reaction or record just it happening or whatever. I've just been having a hard time. So, yeah. Like I said, it's Monday, September 12th. CJ's birthday is in two days. It's his first birthday. We are having a party for him. So, I might film a lot. I just kind of want to like film my life. I don't know exactly what this video is going to be i don't know what i'm going to call it i don't know when i'm going to stop filming i don't know i don't i don't know what this video is going to be but i just thought about it over the weekend and i'm like i don't think that i could mentally film like a week in the life or days in the life just because i don't know where my future is headed and if i do have to wait and take the class again i have to wait until january and i won't graduate until april which is devastating and it pushes me back that's eight months and it's like seriously so i don't want to cry i cried already i'm just leaving it up to god and yeah so i do have clinicals tomorrow i'm still gonna go to clinicals i'm still gonna go to class i've still been turning in my homework just because that's what like my professor said i think i kind of blacked out when she was talking to me because i was at work when i found out and i talked to student services and they were like if your professor didn't say don't go to class or anything then still go to class i don't want to stop doing homework going to clinicals going to class and then the dean or assistant dean grants me the chance to do the med calc again but i fail because i miss clinicals and i didn't turn in my assignments so i'm just going to kind of continue to do what i've been doing and in hopes that she that i can take the test again and yeah i don't know i don't know so just popping in just to kind of catch you guys up on what's going on i don't know when this video i have an idea when i want to post this video but i don't know what this video is going to entail it's going to be a bunch of random stuff just you know wrapping up my nursing journey i, I hope I'm, I'm still praying that i graduate in december and yeah it's on my phone i'm about to take my pre-assessment quiz for my med search um 
exam or assessment for tomorrow. Taking notes with my pens and stuff. I don't know. I just felt like this was something to document because yesterday I vlogged about my situation with my med calc and um, I'm not even sure what's going on. But like I said, I'm going to continue to do my homework and complete my assignments. And I got an email from my teacher about the things that I need to complete for tomorrow for class. So I'm like, I don't know. Am I good? Am I not good? Oh, I guess I'm still in the class. So I'm still going to do the homework. I'm going to do this assessment, take some notes. Well, this pre-assessment, take some notes for my assessment tomorrow. And then I have another assessment, MedSearch 2 assessment on that I take at home on Friday. So yeah, every week there's a new assessment. You have to take the pre-assessment quiz, review the materials and stuff, and then you take the assessment in class. And then if you have an extra assessment, you take it 24 hours after that at home. And then you do whatever assignments you get. You take like a post-assessment quiz. And then you do whatever assignments you have to do. And it's all through ATI. And then we have some like outside assessments that our professor gives us. Yeah. So, I'm going to stop wasting time. I'm going to take this. Study a little bit. It's 10 o'clock. I'm hoping to be done in like an hour or two. And, yeah. Hey guys, it's September 20th today. I don't even remember the last time I filmed. I think it was like two weeks ago. But I am just filming anytime I feel the need to to kind of document my journey. Just the last time I filmed was that I don't really want to film Week in the Lives or Dana Lives because it's just too much going on in life right now for me. So it's just better to come on here and talk to you guys just when I have something interesting going on or if I just have something to say. Right now, it's five o'clock. I just got out of clinicals. I'm exhausted. Like, I'm so tired. I feel like I haven't been this tired in such a long time. We have two exams tomorrow. We have a midterm and then we have an OB exam. In this class I'm in, we are taking exams every week. So like fundamentals, pharmacology, we had two med search, two pharm uh, pharmacology exams, and then we have OB tomorrow, peds next week, I think mental health, and then community, and then I think we have a final. I'm like mentally exhausted. My head hurts. I feel very overwhelmed and stressed. I feel like I don't really have a grasp on like what the fuck is going on. I feel like my entire nursing career has come down to these last how many weeks do I have I have like 13 more weeks I think and no that's not true of 12 more weeks I think and I just feel so overwhelmed I'm here for clinicals for practically almost 12 hours doing nothing and we have like I have my clinicals the day before my classes and like I said we have exams every week and then we don't get done with homework for the week before until like Saturday. So I only have two, maybe three days, really two days, Sunday and Monday. If I'm not doing anything or have any other obligations, I have two days to study for the next upcoming exam. This exam, all of its core points, which means that all of it matters to your grade. In nursing school, I don't know if it's all nursing programs, but previously we had supplemental points and we had core points. So if you needed some extra boosts in your grade then that's where the supplemental points came in and it's like five ten it really like if you didn't do the supplemental homework or whatever it made no it, like it didn't matter um because your grade didn't change if you didn't do the supplemental homework assignments but this class is all core so every point matters and so this exam is a midterm exam mind you we're not learning anything <laughs> We're not learning anything. It's a waste of time. The clinical is a waste of time. The class for four hours is a waste of time. And I'm getting so frustrated because I just feel like then you have everything on top of, oh my God, how are you studying for the NCLEX? What are you getting for the NCLEX? And then on top of that, it's, have you applied to jobs? You should apply to jobs. This job is having a raise and this job is this. And then you're thinking about, oh my God, you know, you want the job in your field. And so then you're talking to other people and they want the same job in your field. And it's just like, 
because now I'm thinking like the jobs that I have, I don't really necessarily care for them. But it's like, do I not care for them because I'm just so stressed because of everything else? Or do I not care for them because it's not where I want to go? So then I'm like, I'm tired of freaking applying to jobs and going to interviews and everything like that. And it's like right now, not all hospitals have new grad or graduate nurses like positions. So some might and they might talk to you, but it's like the specialties I want to get into, you might have to have experience, you might not. I don't know. It's just very overwhelming. And I wanted to come on here to tell you guys that the last semester is sucks it's not peaches and cream it's very much overwhelming it's very much um like a reality check on life and your whole program and so yeah i'm sweating it's hot as you can see it's five o'clock i'm gonna literally drive an hour from my freaking home i have to do homework and then i have to do kylie's hair and then i have to cook and all this stuff so i just wanted to pop in to let you guys know what i was doing and what i'm doing and how i'm doing and my mental because i feel bad for not posting anything on tiktok i feel bad for not like posting anything on youtube or just being like present on social media but it's just like it's really hard so hopefully when all is said and done and i upload this video and i edit it um i'll be in a better place but yeah i'm gonna go home i don't know when i'm gonna talk to you guys next but you will hear from me just wait on it <laughs> Guys, it's the next day. It's September, I believe it's the 21st. I am at my daughter's school picking her up. I'm just waiting. Um, we got out of class early because ATI was down so we can take our OB exam, which is such a relief because I was telling you guys the last part of the vlog um, that I had two exams. I had my midterm and then my OB exam. A little bit about my midterm, only because I felt like I had a revelation during that exam i was taking the exam like how i would take the nclex because i feel like i have to start implementing that strategy into my exams that i take even though i have like i have one more class which is capstone and we basically take all these same exams over again and that's honestly that's when i'm going to start like really studying for them because it's going to be like taking my nclex but it's going to be taking the nclex in different parts which to me is more beneficial because you don't have to take all these like practice questions well they're essentially practice questions but you get to take them exam style instead of like if you were to take practice questions at home you kind of have the luxury to like stop and pause or to like look at your notes and stuff like that but these exams are going to be like taking an actual exam but kind of doing them like you know in a practice form my midterm i was taking it how i would be taking the nclex like i tried to implement a lot of different like test taking strategies so i tried to read the question and for some reason me i have to read the question like five times which is fine because you want to read the question all together and then you want to take because the first sentence is really the scenario of the question and then the last sentence or the last couple of sentences is like what the question is asking so i would read the question a couple times and then go back and read the first line and then read what they're asking and then i will read the answers before i would just read the automatically read the answers first then by the time you read the full question you might change your answer because that's not what the question is asking so i really made sure that i took the time to read the question maybe read the question two or three more times um and then read the answers and i will go back and forth from reading from a to e or d or you know the opposite way it really doesn't matter with the nursing school questions there's always going to be two answers that are like absolutely right but you have to really focus on what the question is asking to determine between those two questions so i'm really good at narrowing it down to two and i made sure i focused on that narrowing it down to two possible answers and then going back up and reading the question again and then you can narrow it down again and then if it's really hard because they're both like way too close i would just go with my gut um i have a really really hard really hard time with changing my answers and i tried to make sure that i didn't do that but i felt a lot during this exam that i would pick an answer and just hold off hold off pick that answer hold off read the question again and see if it matches and half the time or majority of the time you can plug in the right answer back into the question so i tried to do that as well so i really want to be completely confident when i go to the next question that that previous question was the best possible answer and obviously it's hard if you don't fully know and you're kind of just guessing 
I feel like no one's ever 100% satisfied when they're leaving a, a nursing exam, but I'm hoping I did good. It was 150 points, and I'm hoping I got like at least 130. Yeah, that's really aiming high, but I don't know. So we have to take our OB exam at home tonight. Um, so I'll do that. And I'm not too worried about that because it's just based on completion and it's only 10 points. Um, but like I said, I was telling people because everybody's like, I literally didn't study for OB because you get the points by doing it. Um, and then the midterm is actually worth core points. So why would I waste my time studying OB? But I'm like, I want to be potentially an OB nurse. So like, I feel like I need to know these things. So I kind of put my, I put, I put a lot of pressure. I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself for this assessment and then the next assessment, which is PEDS, because those are kind of the fields that I want to go into. So I feel like I need to have baseline knowledge of these things. <laughs> I didn't anticipate me leaving or even like taking a break but I have been filming over the course of me being gone and I've been filming just like updating on what's been happening um, my mental health really wasn't the best so I stopped filming and I still wanted to document because all of this is just like documentation of my nursing school program and my journey and stuff so I wanted to still document all of that but maybe not put it on youtube or make a whole video out of it or whatever so it is september 26th monday september 26th so you guys know what's going on with my school um whether i put it at the beginning of the video or incorporate it like right now but yeah that's the uncertainty with school it's very unfortunate but hopefully we push through i'm going to send another appeal to the dean or the president of the school in hopes that maybe i can talk to somebody there and they can allow me to retake the exam um i don't know that's all that's the only that's literally the only update i have with school because that's it i don't really want I, i'm trying not to put too much energy into it because then that's all that's going to be consumed i've still been doing my homework i've still been taking the assessments and the exams and stuff i've still been going to clinicals i've still been going to class and stuff but i need a definite answer because i don't want to go day to day or week to week not knowing and like mondays give me so much anxiety and mondays used to be my favorite day of the week and now they give me so much anxiety because it's it's like a new week so it's like what new problems are gonna come my way you know what new anxiety am i gonna have this week like what's gonna happen this week that's gonna set me back so i've just been having a lot of anxiety i have not been even going to the gym um i am at the gym right now which is why i kind of decided to film because i'm trying to get back into a routine back into a good headspace with a lot of things i feel like this should be exciting I should be excited that i'm almost done with school and that i'm gonna graduate and finally become a nurse but i just feel like you know there is something that's holding me back yeah that's the update on top of all the other updates that i have <laughs> Watch out, watch out, watch out, yeah. Smash out, smash out, smash out, yeah. Spending, 
me some ways and I got me some hoes. Started rocking the sleeve like I'm coming on the road. You know how I do with the clothes on my toes. Oh, I ain't rich yet, but you know I ain't broke up. So if I see it, I look about different stuff. I'm with some of my girls and I love them in the coca. Like they OT, double OT, like I'm KD, smoking OG. And you know me, I'm a two threes, I'm a goatee. Bitch, you smiling, bitch, you see me from the nosebleed. I'm a new three, I'm a change out to my new D. I have a song. When I started ballin', I was young. You won't think I'll come here. You know how I do it, can close on my toe. Oh. I ain't rich yet, but you know I ain't broke up. So if I see it, I look about it from the start. Uh. I'm with some white girls and I love them in the coca Like AOT, double OT, like I'm KD, smoking OG And you know me, I'm a two threes, I'm a goatee Guys, um, it's much later, it's 3.36 um. <laughs> But um yeah, I'm at my mom's house. We've been going. I know I haven't talked about like our living area or whatever, but we've been going back and forth between my mom's house and his mom's house. We plan to buy a house hopefully soon in the next year. So we didn't want to rent anything, but who knows? The housing market is pretty crappy right now. CJ got his 12 month shots and the flu shot, and he is a little sick. He has a stuffy nose and kind of like a low grade fever so just been getting some loving in i am doing homework and we're watching uh, yeah and we're watching toy story so i'm just doing that we've just been chilling i'm sipping coffee i finished my homework which was just the pre-assessment for our assessment on wednesday oh thank you Good morning, it's actually almost one o'clock, but I woke up and then went back to sleep, woke up, went back to sleep like three times. Um, hi CJ. I actually made him a doctor's appointment because he was having a fever all night and I would give him medicine. Here we go. And, and I would give him medicine and it would like, go away for a little bit and then he would spike it again so i was like you know what if he wakes up with the fever or even a low grade fever i'm gonna make an appointment so i made an appointment and then we went back to sleep and then we woke up probably like an hour ago and he didn't have a fever and like that's his only symptom he's like perfectly fine behavior wise um he's not really eating a lot but i assume that's because he has a fever uh but he's making like wet diapers and stuff so i was like i don't want to have to pay like a $30 copay for them to just tell me, oh, it's because he got his shots on Friday, which I already knew. So, I canceled that, and we're just going to look at him. And if he still has a fever or even a little gray fever in the next two days, then I will bring him in because that's too long for a little baby to have a fever. So, that's the plan. I did hopefully get some good news with my school. I got an email saying that I could make a virtual conference with I think it's the president I think it's the president of our campus maybe it's the dean of our campus I'm not sure um on Thursday so I feel like that's good news because why would she want to have a conference with me if she's not going to allow me to retake the test and I feel like this is good because it's more personable when you like talk to somebody face to face so Hopefully, I can retake the test and then resume with school. I did have sim today, but obviously, I'm not going to sim and I have class tomorrow, which I'm obviously not going, but I hope that they allow me to. This is like a different circumstance, so hopefully, they allow me to turn in my assignments and stuff. So, that's the plan. I'll just probably be doing a lot of homework over the weekend to catch up from maybe not doing it. I know, maybe not doing it um, these last couple days. And yeah. <laughs> Change out to my new D. Why I have a song? When I started balling, I was young. You gon' think about me when I'm gone. I need that money like the ring I never won. I won't. I'm swagging, I'm swagging, I'm swagging on you. I'm balling, I'm balling, I have a song on you.
Good morning, guys. It's what is today? Wednesday. Today's a Wednesday. It's 9:20. I just dropped Kylie off at school. And I'm about to go to my externship. We have a little orientation um, for like five hours. So I'm going to go do that. And then afterwards, I'm going to go to the gym. I was supposed to wake up at like six. I had like multiple alarms set. I'm supposed to wake up at six and do my makeup because my camera's going to die. So we're going to try to kill two birds with one stone. But I was supposed to wake up at six and go. And then I was supposed to wake up at seven because I'm like, six is too early. I can, I can get away with going at seven. And here we are. I didn't go at all. Because I'm not an early gym girl anymore. Like, I don't know. I'm in my afternoon gym era, I guess. Because I thrive going in the afternoon. So, we're going to go after I'm done. The orientation is from 11 to 4. And then we're going to go to the gym and do some cardio for like an hour. And then I'm going to come home, I'm going to wash my hair, and then my sister's going to do my hair. So, that's the plan. I'm going to do some homework because I just feel like I need to do homework even though I don't know what like, my status is going to be. Um, I'm going to think positive. And we're going to do some homework. Um, the homework that I can do is... Um, NARS concealer it is the soft matte complete concealer in medium no it's the soft matte complete concealer in caramel and I love this concealer I found a new love for it and then I've been loving the Urban Decay Naked color color corrector and I just put that on top and I let it sit for a little bit wish I did get up early just so that way I had it out of the way because who wants to go to the gym at four o'clock but I'm like, you know what? I'm just doing cardio. It shouldn't, like, uh, it shouldn't matter because all I would need is a treadmill. I don't need a whole bunch of weights and stuff. But I really need to wash my hair. My sister's going to do my hair, like I said, when she gets off work. So it's going to be a late night. But, um, I don't, all I have to do tomorrow is work. And I don't know what it is, but I've been so freaking tired lately. Like, just so sleepy. And I wouldn't even say lazy, but I just didn't, haven't had the energy to do anything. Like, I've been doing the bare minimum, and that's all I've had the energy for. Because I missed the other orientation I was a couple weeks ago, because I usually have class on Wednesdays, but I feel like it all kind of worked out because I'm not going to class today. Um, until I get an answer back tomorrow. So asked me about tips on breastfeeding and in nursing school and how to like store milk and stuff well um the biggest thing is bring a pump bring a pump a manual pump or an electric pump because a lot of hospitals um have lactation rooms um that's the beauty of i feel like going to clinicals and going into a hospital is like there's always a place where you can pump and also um your clinical instructor should be very willingly like to let you go pump. I usually just tell them, hey, I have to go pump. And um, I just find the pump room and they have no problems, no issues. It's not like a, oh, no, you can't do that or anything like that. Lunchbox and bring um, ice packs. So the pump that I had came with two bottles. It was an electric pump, a Mandela pump. I don't even have it with me, but it came with two bottles. And so I would just use that. And then I got these bottle, specific bottle um, like baby bottle ice packs from Amazon. Okay, in my lunch bags, I got my lunch box. I've seen, I've showed you guys my lunch box before. It's from Amazon as well. Just make sure you have a big enough lunch box to fit two ice packs. Um, you don't even really need to, but I feel like at the start, you wish you should take two. Start to fit two and your lunch contents as well. So I would usually just do one, but if you just have that specific lunch box for your breast milk, I would put two packs in there. And then also depending on how long your clinicals are, you can store um, room, room temperature breast milk for I believe four hours, but I like to freeze it because my clinicals are longer than four hours. Just bring your own separate lunch box, ice packs, and that's pretty much and pump that's pretty much it and just tell your teacher you need to go pump and that's pretty much it and then i don't pump like when i go to class and stuff i don't pump because i feed him before and then classes usually max like three hours so that's enough time for me um 
and then I would just feed him afterwards so yeah that's just the spiel it's not that hard you know don't complicate it I know it definitely I was scared I was nervous I was like oh my god are they gonna let me pump you know is it gonna be like awkward am I gonna be able to find somewhere to pump am I gonna remember my stuff like you just have to be on it 100% so the night before make sure you pack your lunch your ice packs make sure you pack your bottles all your pump things that you need um and make sure you stay hydrated throughout the duration of your clinical and make sure you eat snacks and stuff um I know I felt like I was weird because everybody would be like, oh, no, we don't have to have a lunch. We can just leave clinical early. And I'm like, no, like I need to eat. I, you know, I can't just not eat for eight hours and stuff. So, yeah, just make sure just just advocate for yourself. That's the thing. Like you have to just be able to advocate for yourself. Speak up for yourself. Don't let people run over you. You know, if you want to take a lunch, say, hey, I want to be able to take a lunch. I need to eat or honestly take your breaks like during clinicals even right now i will go into the locker room and i'll sit down for a couple like they don't pay you so it really doesn't matter and then honestly like i said i'm a senior i've been doing the whole med search clinicals for like a year now so to me i'm not learning anything so i want to best utilize my time especially if it's like 11 10 hours that i'm away i want to best utilize my time i don't have to pump now i can be gone for 10 12 hours and that's fine um, just because he's a year old and I'm actually trying to wean him off. I haven't talked about it, but I'm trying to wean him off just on whole milk. Um, he feeds a couple times um, during the day, like when I'm around. But that's pretty much it. So um, just advocate for yourself is what I'm trying to say. I'm swaggin', I'm swaggin', I'm swaggin', I'm ballin', I'm ballin', I'm ballin', I've a song on you Watch out, oh, watch out, oh, watch out, yeah Smash out, smash out, smash out, yeah Spendin', I'm spendin' on my fucking pay I got me some ways and I got me some hoes Started rockin' the sleeve, I can't buy with no jobs You know how I do it, can close on my toes oh. Oh. I ain't rich yet, but you know I ain't broke up So if I see it, I like it by the front store, ah uh. Most of my girls and I love in the coca Like they OT, double OT, like I'm KD, smoking OG And you know me, I'm a two threes, I'm a goatee Bitch, you smiling, bitch, you see me, from the nosebleed I'm a new three, I'm a change out, I'm a new D Why'd I have a song? When I started ballin', I was young And you gon' think about me when I'm gone I need that money like the ring I never want I want Sussin', sussin', sussin' on you Swaggin', I'm swaggin', I'm swaggin' on you I'm ballin', I'm ballin', I've a song on you Watch out, watch out, watch out, yeah. I smash out, I smash out, I smash out, yeah. Spending, I'm spending on my fucking pay. Bitch, I'm saucing, I do the saucing, don't do no talking. My options, right when I walk in, drop on them Jordans, I'm ballin'. Money jumping, like I'm Davis from New Orleans. Oh, bitch, I'm hard and I don't miss nothing. Bitch, I'm saucing, I do the saucing, don't do no talking. My options, right when I walk in, drop on them Jordans, I'm ballin'. Money jumping, like I'm Davis from New Orleans. Oh, bitch, I'm hard and I don't miss nothing. Can I get a grande ice white chocolate mocha? Grande ice white chocolate mocha. Yeah. Um, can I have no whip? And can I have vanilla um cold foam, sweet cream cold foam? Yeah. Can I also get the sausage cheddar and egg sandwich if you have it? Hi guys, it's Friday. I'm trying to take things slow because I'm on my way to take my exam. Um I'm tired that's why I got Starbucks because I'm so tired but I don't want to get too much coffee because I want to be able to take a nap because I didn't take a nap yesterday and I wasn't feeling it until like six o'clock yeah I wasn't feeling it till like six o'clock I was like oh shit I'm tired but anyways I'm gonna get coffee I'm gonna get something to eat because you have to fuel your brain and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna ace this exam starving and yeah I don't really have any like household things to do I just want to go home and be able to take a nap and get ready for work I hate working back to back I don't know how people do it I don't know how I'm gonna do it as a new grad working three days in a row or whatever and like some people work four days and like that's their norm that's their full time that's crazy I couldn't imagine I can't even do two days back to back so having to do four or three days is gonna be really hard but I feel like it's gonna be exciting because it's gonna be new anyways <laughs> anyways I'm gonna get Starbucks I'm gonna fuel on coffee because like I said I'm so tired I literally got three hours of sleep 
ready to play. So he was banging all these things in my drawer. Thank you. Uh-huh. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. Thank you. <sighs> and I have 400 points. And I've been trying to save to get 400 points so I can get a cute little Starbucks cup. Like a one of the cute ones. One of the tall, like, you know, cute ones that people be getting. Yeah, so. When I see a cute one, I'm gonna buy it. So, yeah, I'm gonna listen to some Kanye West because I really like his Donda album. It's like a gospel, but rap, obviously. And I'm just gonna listen to it because it's good. Anyways, okay, bye. I will see you guys after my exam. <sighs> okay, so, unfortunately, I didn't get 20 out of 20. I got 19 out of 20. So, what that means is I'm going to have to drop the class and I'm going to have to um, take the class in January, which means that my graduation date is April. And I've obviously already cried and I've obviously already, you know, had my fair share of emotions with it. And oddly enough, I feel kind of calm. Um, so, in the exam, the power went out. So it actually shut my exam off. And she let me do it again. So, it was just one particular question about teaspoon where you had to first convert the, the medication that's available and the medication that's ordered into milliliters and then convert that into teaspoons and I immediately knew how to do it I knew it was wrong the first time and the second time and I actually wrote out the problem but you can't go back on these exams so what's your answer is what's your answer and yeah that was the only one I got wrong but yeah so I'll just be taking a little break and I don't know if maybe I need it. I definitely felt like I was gonna have a panic attack, have a heart attack at that, um, pass out, throw up, everything under the sun. But I kind of feel like I was forcing myself and I was pressuring myself to get done in December to basically prove to everybody else that I can get done because there's a lot of people that I know that's graduating in December. There's also one of my friends who failed not the last class but the class before that and she has to graduate in april so and then i also know another person that failed the same medication calculation exam and she has to wait until january as well and the biggest thing is don't let your failure define you it's very hard and it's frustrating and one thing that just comforts me is the simple fact that like people fail shit like do you know how many times people fail the NCLEX? I feel that once you get older, you kind of understand things a little bit better. Very hard, and initially it was hard. I definitely cried. I actually cried during the test because I knew that was my one wrong answer and I knew it was over, but I had to finish the rest of the exam um, in hopes that maybe that wasn't the wrong answer, that was the right answer. But yeah, I immediately knew I was crying, she was crying, My assistant dean it's just very hard i know it's hard for them because they want to be able to help you and they know that you know the stuff and yeah i don't know when i'm going to post this i have filmed pretty much all of this month i'm thinking you know honestly everything happens for a reason and i'm thinking it's because i wasn't 100 percent sure with any of the jobs that i have so i'm like maybe this gives me more time to look for a job look for an opportunity so I don't know I'm gonna kind of take some time I don't know when I'm gonna post this I don't really want the world to know <laughs> yet because to me it's just embarrassing even though it's not embarrassing like it's life but to me it just feels uh, like I feel like a failure even though I'm not I don't know that was my spiel 
September 30th so I have two months I have to do all this paperwork of getting back into the program and back into the class in January and etc 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 and yeah so don't know when I'm gonna talk to you guys but I will talk to you guys soon